from this island that he will launch his mission to impersonate the Messiah and to eventually rule the world from Jerusalem. Question, which island is it? Before we attempt to answer the question, let us turn to another hadith, another statement of the Prophet ﷺ, which is of crucial importance. It is also in Sahih Muslim. <coughs> he said that when the Antichrist is released, he will live on earth for 40 days. 40 days. Yawmun kasana. One day like a year. Yawmun kashahar. One day like a month. Yawmun kajum'a. One day like a week. Wasairu ayyamihi ka ayyamikum. And all his days, implying all the rest of his days, would be like your days. When his day, now listen carefully, <coughs> when his day is like our day, he would be in our dimension of time. And when he is in our dimension of time, then we can see him. At that time, of course, he would be, said the Prophet, a Jew, a young man, powerfully built, with curly hair. Where would he be at that time? Of course, he would be in Jerusalem. Ruling the world from Jerusalem, the way the rule, the way the world is now ruled from Washington. But where would he be when he's released on earth? In a day which would be like a year. And where would he be on earth in a day which is like a month? And where would he be on earth in a day which is like a week? Do we have answers for that? Praise be to Allah who allowed this servant Imran to study international relations, international politics, international economics. <coughs> the answer, of course, is that when he's released on earth, he would be on that island. And from that island, he will launch his mission to liberate the Holy Land, to bring the Jews back to the Holy Land, to reclaim it as their own, to restore a state of Israel in the Holy Land. And get the Jews to believe that this is the holy Israel of David and of Solomon. Alayhi salam. And to cause that state of Israel to become the ruling state in the world. Which island is it? This is my answer. You do not have to agree with me. You are free to defer with me. But you cannot say that I am wrong until you can tell me what is the right answer. That's fair, isn't it? That's fair, isn't it? Come on, answer me. You cannot say that I am wrong until you can tell me what is right. An amazing thing has happened. 
that nowhere in the world, praise be to Allah, has anyone come forward so far to differ with me and to challenge me? Not one. Until I came to Trinidad in August. And one, 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 <coughs> one fellow in Trinidad challenged me. In November of 1917, the British government did something which was incredibly strange and mysterious. A Briton, which is now the prince of the secular world, the secular world takes religion out of politics. And Britain is the prince of the secular world. Britain issues a declaration known as the Balfour Declaration in November 1917 that it is the intention of His Majesty's government to work for the establishment of a Jewish national home in the Holy Land. Did you hear that? The only thing stranger than that that ever occurred in history was the day that the cow jumped over the moon. Why would a secular state which leads the world of secular states declare its intention to work for the establishment of a Jewish national home, meaning a Jewish state, in the Holy Land. <coughs> <coughs> Two months later, this was October 1917, in December 1917, it is a British army led by General Allenby, which defeats the Ottoman Islamic army and liberates the Holy Land. And when Allenby entered into Jerusalem, the British general declared, today the Crusades are over. Oh. Oh, but the Crusades were supposed to have been Christian wars. And you are now a secular state. You're not a Christian state, you're a secular state. How come a secular Britain is continuing a crusade started by the Pope a thousand years before? That's strange. That is incredibly strange. Between 1918 and 1948, it is the island of Britain which ruled over the Holy Land on a mandate conferred by the League of Nations. And during that period of time, with tremendous deception while pretending to keep the Jews out, Britain opened the doors for the Jews of Europe to enter into the Holy Land and to reclaim it as their own. In between came the interlude of Adolf Hitler. <coughs> <coughs> which speeded up the movement of the Jews from Europe to the Holy Land. In 1948, Britain did something strangest of all. Britain is a state with a tremendous 
commitment to the rule of law. And so every time Britain decolonized, there was always an insistence of illegal transfer of power. And then you had the flags going up at midnight, huh? and the national anthem and this constitution and so on. A legal transfer of power. It happened in Trinidad as well. But in 1948, when Britain left the Holy Land, she left like a thief in the dark. For the first time, for the only time in British history, there was no legal transfer of power from Britain to the successor state. In 1948, Britain acted as a midwife for the baby to be born. The European Jewish state of Israel. And so my answer is that that island of Tamimudari is Britain. The Prophet said, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, about Dajjal. That he would ride on a donkey. And the donkey would travel as fast as the clouds. And the donkey would have his ears stretched out wide. My opinion, which I hope you will share with me, is that that donkey is already here in the world. This is religious symbolism with which we began the lecture. The donkey is the modern aircraft. And since the Antichrist brings with him the modern aircraft, the Antichrist commands the skies. You can't, you cannot compete with him or rival him in power in the skies above. He said that the Antichrist will step into the ocean and the water would reach him up to his knee. Again, I want to suggest to you that we are dealing with religious symbolism here. It is not to be understood literally as a donkey. It is not to be understood literally as a man who is a few miles tall. Rather, it is the technology which allows you to go down to the bottom of the ocean and pick up pieces of an aircraft which crashed and reassemble the aircraft 95%. That technology is in the world today. The Antichrist would be jumping about between the heavens and the earth. Jumping about, said the Prophet. Alayhi salatu wasalam. Again, I want to suggest to you that this is not to be interpreted literally. That we are dealing with religious symbolism. It refers to our modern exploration of the heavens above the satellites that go around the earth and the shuttle aircrafts that go up and down in fact <coughs> in all of these we see point